Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and today guys, I'm here just to promote the services that I'm currently offering because maybe you don't know guys, not all of you that are watching my channel can do all the DIY stuff that I gave for free so that's why I'm here just to show you what kind of services I do, okay? I will call this system as NXD this less system set one and let's talk about first about nxd this is a uh, linux base so this this less system is running on a linux system and the nxd this less version i have here is the nxd 83445 build and actually this one is uh, quite old it's been around since 2018 but it doesn't mean guys that all this uh, is bad okay there's a lot of software that are really good I mean old software that are really good so this one is 3445 I really like this version because this is the last version that really resembles the NXD 7.5 that I've I've been using for a very long time and I can say that this one is a really fast this less software okay next we'll be talking about the network here on NXD you can set multiple bonds or teaming or trunking cross on multiple network switches to avoid any network choking so as you can see I have two bonds here or teaming that have two IP addresses and here on the console I can set the client that will connect on on that IP address okay this means that I can connect only the client that are connected on switch one to the same network team that is connected on that switch okay the same with the second switch and this feature is not really new this was around since NXD 5.8 here I have two client connected where you can also do a remote on that client so as you can see I'm running Windows 10 here and I'm running a uh, Windows 10 20H2 version 6.8.5 this is not the US I think 7.4.6 just came out so all drivers are installed so this system is just a G4400 with RX560 GPU process is normal and I don't have problem installing games in this system and updating games is also really easy so if you know the NXD 7.5 for Windows 7 and Windows XP uh, this one works the same but here you can run Windows 10 just what I've showed you for the disk you can also create this RAID RAID 0, RAID 1 or RAID 5 if you want but of course RAID 0 is what I usually create here okay and in this system guys we can run multiple virtual machine uh, but of course guys we need a good CPU here and a high capacity RAM at least 16 gig of RAM and a multiple LAN okay because we need also LAN 
to use on those virtual machines. Here I have a uh, PFSense running in this system. So you can also use a Microtik if you, if you want, if you're familiar with Microtik system or you can also install Kerio. But here I have a simple PFSense firewall just to manage the bandwidth. And here, as you can see, I have this updater because in NXD guys, when updating games, you need to open a client, set it on super user, and you can update both drive C and the game disk at the same time. So it means updating games using the client. Okay, but not necessary you, you need to open a client because here you can just use a virtual machine just to update the games. Okay, you just need to set super user this client, this updater client or the virtual machine client. Okay, okay. Now it's booting. As you can see guys, the, the client virtual machine is now on super user where you can install games or update games so both the drive c and the drive d you can change you can install games you can delete games you can update games okay then after you just need to to turn off the super user and restart that virtual machine and then after restart you just need to run this restart nxd service just to release the cache and also you can make a virtual machine for your billing software or your timer software and for me guys it's much safer for me to to install a billing software on a virtual machine and all this virtual machine guys you can set it to run on startup of the server and automatically turns off when the server turns off okay i use also this one to to run any test so i can have access anywhere and this nxd system have the same restore system same with the nxd 7.5 okay next we will just gonna test the performance of the client connected on this disless system hope you can see this guys let's check the booting first So uh, the booting register on NXT for 21.55 seconds but uh, that is normal guys because we have Vanguard installed today. Without the Vanguard this one will boot around 15 seconds. Let's try to run the Valorant game. I don't have problem installing games on, on in this kind of system because you can super user both the drive C and the D unlike the IKP8 and CCU for CC boot you can also super user the drive C and the drive D 
and here you can also set the the settings of your offline games unlike also in the icopy 8 and ccu it's really hard to set but i'm not telling guys that you can you cannot set okay you just need the knowledge to do it okay unlike here it's it's quite easy Okay, performance is quite good. You can tell on the on the movement. And then lastly guys, we will gonna be running a simple HD speed test just to get a quick benchmark. Of course, the game drive is the most important one. Then we start the the test. So you can see 900 Mbps. Well, the performance will also vary on the specs of the server and how many clients will be connected. As you can see guys, the read speed is really high. Let's register 100 Mbps here. Average. can see the graph almost hitting 1 gbps for the game this I'm just using a 2 terabyte hard drive we can usually get more performance increase by using a SSD SATA drive or a NVMe drive but this one is quite enough I hope you like this simple demonstration just feel free guys to contact me on my Facebook page and we can set up this anywhere you are and also for the client image for the language of the client image we can also talk about it on what language your client system want to have okay for the server we cannot really change it to the language that you want because it will be really hard for me okay so i hope you like this video guys and if you like it please uh please hit that like button and if you're not subscribed yet please uh hit the subscribe button and the bell button and i'll see you all guys on my next video.